Thank you for your precious time. I am an Amazon brand seller. I watched your video. That means they never watched a video on my channel ever. So every now and then I get these whingy comments. You're obviously sponsored by them. You're not very impartial. No, Bartholomew, I don't do sponsored videos. So shove it up your jack. Let me explain why. Before I start, very sad news. I no longer own a truck. I've sold it. Don't know what I'm gonna buy yet. Yes, of course I would love a cyber truck, but they're massive. How am I gonna get that into an Asda car parking space? Anyway, if we could just have a moment silence for the truck. Today's video is going to be a little bit about why I don't do sponsorships on this channel and then I'm also going to give you a bit of an update on what's been going on later on because you've probably noticed a few less videos coming out recently. I've got loads to tell you. So before I start on the whole sponsorship thing and why I don't do sponsored videos, I do want to just explain that it's not for any kind of altruistic reasons or anything like that and some of my favorite YouTube channels are sponsored. So before I get into all the kind of subsidiary reasons why I don't do it, the number one reason is because I'm a complete control freak. You see, sponsorships would tie me into a contract with the sponsor, and these agreements can be very difficult, if not impossible, to get out of. You've got to be 100% confident in the company that's sponsoring you, because if you decide at a later date for some reason that you don't like them anymore, tough. Their video is stuck on your channel until the contract expires. I might take you through some actual sponsorship contract examples one day because it would be quite comical. I'll probably save that for my small business toolbox channel. So if you haven't already subscribed to that, link in the description. But it's not uncommon for the sponsor to have complete editorial control over the content of the video that you end up making. You're generally not allowed to say anything negative about the product or the brand ever. Sometimes they'll trick you into handing over your IP which is a really dangerous thing because they can then re-edit the video and upload it to their own channel and you could end up getting a copyright strike on your own video. And often these agreements will last for two years or more. I don't know what I'm doing in two weeks time, never mind two years time. It's just a route that for the moment I'm trying to avoid going down. Never say never. I don't know where things are going to go in a couple of years time. But if I can make this work without sponsorships, then champion. If you do have a YouTube channel and you're considering doing sponsored videos, please, for the love of all things holy, read the small print first. And if you don't understand it, get a lawyer to look over it for you. You can end up being trapped in agreements that you cannot get out of. So that doesn't mean I'm not happy for people to send me stuff. We'll maybe come on to that in a bit because I never ask for stuff to be sent to me. I did once ask for Triton to send me a router table when I hadn't made my router table yet. And I thought, you know what it is? It'll be Sod's Law. I'll make mine and then Triton will get on in touch and they'll send me a free router table. So I thought, you know, I'll preempt it. I asked them for a free router table. They said no, fair dues, I made my own and they've ended up getting a shout out anyway, which is like very typical. But the trouble is, if I was getting sponsored by like a big tool company or something like that, then not only could I not say anything negative about the product that they're asking us to review, then often what they'll put into the contract is that I'm not allowed to say anything negative about any product that that brand makes. If I was sponsored by DeWalt, I could definitely tell you how awesome this DW745 table saw is, but I almost certainly couldn't tell you that on later models, a lot of people have got in touch with me saying that the table isn't flat. My table's flat on mine, but I've had mine for ages. So all I would say is, if you are gonna buy one of these, check the table's flat before buying it. And likewise, I could tell you all about how much I love my DeWalt biscuit joint there, but I very much doubt I would be allowed to tell you that an awful lot of people have a problem with the sole plate being wonky and it needs to be trued up, which I made a video all about. Once you've done that, it's fine, but I wouldn't be able to tell you that in a sponsored video, would I? If, for example, I was getting sponsored by Axminster Tools, then I couldn't tell you 
that I think their Swan air compressor is a piece of junk. Sorry Axminster, I'm just using you as an example. You make amazing stuff and Axminster Tools is one of my favourite shops in the world, not sponsored. And I hope you understand that by being impartial, that what I say means a lot more to people. In 250 plus videos, I have never had a sponsored video on this channel. Not a single one of my videos has ever been sponsored. I'm more than happy to promote products through affiliate links, but I've never been paid a fee to make a video. So this neatly brings me on to affiliate links and affiliate links are a beautiful thing. I'm not under contract. I can say whatever I like about the product. I can delete it whenever I want. I can change it whenever I want. I can update it at any time. It's not hard burned into the video. In my view, it's the fairest way of funding the internet. I make a video about something that I think is good. You watch the video, you agree that it's good, you buy the product and the manufacturer gives me a small kickback for you buying the product. It's never in my interest to recommend a product that I don't think is good because then I'm not being authentic and I've got to be authentic. It's all I've got. So yeah, in the scheme of it, sometimes things slip through the net and sometimes big manufacturers will score for a free shout out on a product that I might have just bought. I do generally try and recommend like smaller companies and I will normally try and give smaller companies a bit of a shout out and a, a step on the ladder because I would love to see more competition against the big players out there. For example, I was making a video about cork recently and Sealant Wholesale happened to get in touch and say, can I send you some of this cork to have a look at? So they've scored for a free shout out. They just got in touch at the right time and I'll probably have a look at whatever this Decorators Cork Flex Plus is at some point. And they sent us some Forever White um, silicon to have a look at as well. Much appreciated. I will pre-warn if I think it's rubbish, I will tell you. On a similar note, James Sharkey from Ireland very kindly got in touch and sent me some Tech 7 cork, um, whatever it is, cork and sealer to have a look at. I will be having a look at that. He's not a company or a business or whatever, but he's just a kind person who sent us some stuff to uh, look at. Doesn't mean I'm getting sponsored by Tech7. And then you do get the odd comment from people saying like, oh, well, you got sent the stuff for free. That's like being sponsored. It's not like being sponsored. It's totally different. A sponsorship is where there's a contract and like stuff and I get handed money to look at a product being given something for free that I had no intention of buying is not like being sponsored. But if I hadn't been sent like the TSO Rail Square thing for free, I would never have made a video about it. And if I hadn't made a video about that, then probably Frank Cochran wouldn't have seen my channel and he wouldn't have sent us a hybrid Rail Square and I wouldn't have ended up making a video about that. They're both products that are really, really good, but I don't really need them for what I do and therefore they're of no value to me. But the reality is, is that I'll probably give them away on the channel at some point. So watch this space, because I've got an awful lot of stuff I need to get rid of. I thought I'd share with you though, some of the emails that I receive when I get asked to review random stuff from very bizarre companies. Like this one here, I just watched your YouTube video. They are awesome. I will 100% guarantee they have never watched a single video on my channel. We have many awesome products too. It's so glad if I could work with you. If you cooperate with us, you can get free products from us and you just need to do a video for us. How do you think? Please contact me for free products. More surprise are waiting for you. No random company. Or how about this one? Subject line, high value product. Thank you for your precious time. I am an Amazon brand seller. I watched your video. That means they never watched a video on my channel ever. The content is very complete. The video is very clear. You are the excellent product reviewer I am looking for. Our product, it is a monitor that measures heart rate, pulse and oxygen saturation. Very relevant to this channel. These devices are routinely used in hospitals, gyms and in family. I will 100% guarantee you that not a single one of your products is in a hospital in the UK. It is accurate and fast to measure that can show the readings within six seconds. Wow, six seconds. If you are a worker, the people who works over 12 hours need to measure blood oxygen every day to improve work efficiency. Because if you're working 12 hours a day, you need to be more efficient, work harder. If you are an old people, 
It is great for showing him or her how him or her oxygen levels can improve when he or she breathes correctly. I look forward to your precious opportunity. One final one. It's come out in tiny writing for some reason. Business cooperation. Hi, glad to get the email on your YouTube channel. I haven't sent you an email. I'm from this company, one of the biggest tool brands on Amazon. Are you one of the biggest tool brands on Amazon? Are you, are you bigger than DeWalt? Are you bigger than, because I've never heard of you. I'm writing to see if you are interested in testing our wall detector, hot laminated digital display, multimeter, wire stripper, laser tape measure, two in one stud finder, laser range finder, digital multi tester. If the collaboration goes well this time, I've never collaborated with you before. I will sponsor you more items for testing in the future. Giving away your free junk isn't sponsorship, by the way. Looking forward to your response. Thanks in advance. Oh, and a little heart. Maybe I'll get in touch with them after all. Anyway, these every single day, every day, these come through. Trust me, if I do ever make a sponsored video, it's going to be very obvious because I guarantee you this is the next thing that YouTube are going to clamp down on. I'll come back to the whole FTC thing in a minute. So one thing I've been trying to do to avoid the whole sponsorship thing is obviously selling our own stuff on our little shop. And by our, I mean me and Mrs. Mac, because my wonderful better half is helping out with the channel now and does most of the work on that side of things. We've got a fresh batch of Gosforth Handyman tape measures in stock. Perfect stocking fillers for Christmas. Metric only, double-sided, dual reading, EC class two accurate, awesome tape measures and I'm trying a little experiment in an attempt to ditch Teespring for merch. My Teespring store is still there at the minute so obviously feel free to buy anything off there but I'm really trying to source more products locally because I have no idea where Teespring stuff actually comes from and our first step down that line and I'm so excited about this is our very own Gosforth Handyman Christmas jumpers complete with a little gold star made of a hammer and spanner on the top and tiny little Gosforth handyman baubles on the tree and it says drink coffee make stuff all over the Christmas tree. We'll do our utmost best to get everything out in time for Christmas. Do bear in mind if you're outside the UK it can take a couple of weeks for delivery anyway so I would get your orders in this weekend if possible. Do remember we also do gift cards as well so you might want to ask Santa for one of those because they can be redeemed against anything at gosforthandyman.com shop. And there'll be more clothing added onto the shop in the new year so watch this space very exciting and of course you can join the Patreon community as well it's only a dollar a month to get onto my Patreon and over on there there's job pricing videos, there's SketchUp videos, there's other kind of exclusive behind the scenes stuff. Let me just give you the quickest update I can on what's been happening behind the scenes. I still haven't managed to sell my house and at the minute obviously we're approaching Christmas time We've come to the conclusion we don't want to be selling the house over Christmas anyway. We're going to try again early next year, hopefully get this done and dusted, but there's a million other things going on. As you may have heard, we appear to have some issues with the FTC and copper and the CCPA and GDPR and PECR and the DPA. So I've decided it was quite a good time to tighten up on uh, the compliance side of things on my channel. And that involves the wonderful job of editing every single description, thumbnail and title across 250 videos on this channel. I can't begin to explain what a absolute nightmare job that is. I can only do maximum about 25 a day. So if you're wondering why I'm not releasing quite so many videos at the minute, it's because I'm spending all of my time editing descriptions to keep the FTC happy. And I'm not even in the same country as the FTC. So thanks FTC. To be fair on YouTube and everyone else involved in this, and I do think that the FTC are taking a ridiculously heavy handed approach with this, which is massively damaging to really really good educational YouTube channels that are out there for kids because parents can't be bothered to be parents. Don't get me started on that one. I'll be in charge of what my kids watch. You don't need to do it for me. But sadly I think it's only been a matter of time before something like this 
has happened and I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Hence me trying to kind of batten down the hatches on a lot of this compliance stuff. And of course, as I mentioned a few months ago, I'm putting a lot of older videos that really aren't relevant to this channel. I'm shifting them onto my Andy Mac Drums channel. So the videos that I'm putting onto there, so you can get a flavor of the sort of thing that's on my Andy Mac Drums channel, uh, how to listen to a podcast videos on there, making my pull force measuring jig thing, running LED lights off AA batteries, how to use a lav mic videos on there, my OnePlus 6T review I've moved onto there, my hay fever video. A recent video that I've just made is all about colour correction in Magic's Vegas which is the video editing software that I use and I figured it might be useful to tell you guys about that. Plus a whole load of audio related stuff so mic reviews and gear reviews and stuff like that. So if any of that sort of content floats your boat please do subscribe to Andy Mac Drums. It's my oldest channel, I've had it since like 2011, my first ever video went out on that channel so you can subscribe and have a laugh at like my very awkward video production skills back in the day. Loads more videos planned for you beautiful people and I'll hopefully get a couple more out before Christmas with any luck. This will probably be the only vaguely Christmassy video I'm doing so have an amazing Christmas and New Year or whatever festive thing that you're doing or maybe you're not even into the whole festive thing and you would rather just sit in a dark room for a couple of weeks and i probably wouldn't blame you thanks again for watching take care folks i shall see you next time teddy bye <laughs>